What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to talk about a bunch of new features that are going to be added with the update tonight for the weekly update. We have the additional skin bonuses, like how to upgrade them further, granted like 0.1% of the community is actually going to be able to make mythic skins instead of legendary skins, but we'll talk about it. Uh, they're adding a new depth in the Tower of Dreams, they're adding new achievements, which we'll go over here again, and there's going to be a lot of new void imprints and Tree of Origin for a ton of older heroes in case you want to use them as tenants in your Celestial Island, Cloud Island homes. Whew, there's a lot to go over, so hopefully you guys enjoy this, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Let's get going. So first off, we are on the tap tap server so we can see exactly what's going on. Um, the first one I want to talk about are the skins. So um, you'll notice there's these really shiny pink ones now. Well, essentially what that means is skins will now be able to be upgraded further than they previously were. Um, yeah, mythic tier. So... I'm not sure. Let's try to take a look to see if they can be. Yep, every skin. So even like the regular limited skins, like for the Alchemy pr Professor, everybody got for six, fifth anniversary, sixth anniversary. Man, I forget how many years the game's been around. Uh, you have the legendary one here, which is 688. Uh, and then it says here, clear void campaign stage 3310 to unlock the remolding of high skin quality. That's a weird verbiage, but... Okay, but you can see it goes from 688 all the way up to 7129. 688. That's a lot more HP compared to everything else. And uh, yeah, they're going to have these fancy little pink borders on them and everything. Yeesh. It is a higher tier. And of course, you have to be unlocked in Void Campaign. And you also need to... Oh, wait, are they just grouping them down here together? Hold on. That's a little trippy. Wait, are all of them kind of confusing? Oh, they put a bunch of them down here too. Okay. They're really not in any order whatsoever. They're like just randomly grouped up. Uh, but every type of skin can go up to Mythic. But how many people actually have 3310 done? I'm not even there. I'm not even in, I think, Chapter 3 yet. I'm still in Chapter 2 on my account. Granted, I haven't pushed in a while. I probably could make some good progression. I just got to get my team set up properly. But... Ugh, mythic skins, not something I like, or if I would like it if they didn't have this such ridiculously high threshold. I think this plus like the new residence gear should have been unlocked in like chapter one, not the end of chapter three or middle of chapter three. Next up on the list is a quick one. We are talking about Tower of Oblivion. Not really. I mean, Tower of Dream. Tower of Dream are going to have more levels past level 10. I can't look at it right now because, well, it, number one, it's not the weekend. And number two, I'm nowhere near that on our main account here on the Tap Tap servers. We don't really play it. We just use it to look at new features. So that's why it is pretty stagnant. But Tower of Depth will go past level 10 now and there will be bonus rewards. The next item on the list is one that is very good because, well, everybody can just get them. And that is they have increased or rather added new achievements to the game to give you some of the newer resources. So clearing stages in Chapter 1 Avoid Campaign will get you some resources here. Um, I imagine when it says Chapter 1, I imagine it means 1-1 through 1-7, like that whole first island. We'll have to see when it actually goes live. Uh, there are some other ones on here. Clearing st uh, 20 stages in Sealand of any faction will get you additional four color crystals. I mean, that is what it is. I think that was new. I don't remember that one being there before. These are pretty cool, though. The Clearing Realms Gate with Void Corruption 40. And then, of course, it'll go higher. I think it's like 40, 60, 80, 100 or something like that. You'll get a bunch of crystals of Transcendence. So a lot of people out there might be able to get their next Transcendence Hero as soon as this goes live, which could be interesting. Conquer all planets in the Explorer area of the Void Vortex for the first time uh so this has a lower tier as well i think this one even has a lower tier at 20 uh but that's going to get you guys a lot of stellar shards and then another one here achieved 90 percent or above exploration progress at sector dusk uh yeah you're going to get some void in our stuff so i'm pretty sure they have it for every single sector this is going to help you guys level up your tree further i don't think anybody's actually finished the tree out yet but 
I mean, eventually it'll happen. And then I think this is the last. Nope, there's a couple. Clear all stages of depth one in Tower of Dreams are going to net you a selection chest. Open the chest to select one of the rewards. I think most people are going to go for toolboxes, but we got to see. Um, I imagine they have this all the way up to depth 10. So I don't know if that includes nightmare stages. It probably doesn't, but it is there. Uh, and then I think... Clearing stage 50 of Purgatory and Aspen Dungeon will net you a chest with resources. I don't know if there is one previous to this, and I imagine there's another checkpoint at 100, 150, and 200 for Purgatory. Uh, I think those are just additional ones because I think there were already clearances for Death 1. So there might be one for like unlocking Purgatory. We'll see. Uh, there's another one here. Awaken a hero soul 10 times, and it gives you half of another awakening. I mean, that's not great. I wonder if this scales up, though. I wonder if this if this is like when you, you remember using all these cores of Transcendence, you kept getting more and more cores. I wonder if this one works the same. We'll just have to see when it does go live. The next part is pretty cool. Um, sadly, though, they did some weird stuff with the heroes they picked. We are getting additional Void Imprint and Tree of Origin on heroes. Uh, number one is over here in the Shadow Faction. Kameth will be getting it. Uh, I don't know if that really makes him any good. Anybody who you don't scroll on their descriptions usually is not a good hero nowadays. You need to have a law degree to figure out and read the verbiage in any new hero skills versus old ones. Very cut and dry. Uh, maybe, maybe this, this does something. I mean, like the act ability has a much higher chance to petrify the target for two rounds. Basic has it too, right? Uh, 25, it's not very good. And of course you do have the tree, which is just raw stats. They don't have branches. The other one is corpse demon. Corpse Demon has always been an interesting hero because I always like this Realm of Frost. When attacked by non-warrior enemies, has a 30% chance to freeze them for two rounds. When attacked by warrior targets, has a 45% chance to freeze them for two rounds. I wonder if you could somehow run like a Rui. I mean, his stats are just going to be bad in general anyway, though. But, I mean, damage against frontline enemies with an 80% chance to freeze, like... Could this hero be like some sort of CC cheeser for like Vortex or something instead of Jara? I don't know. Jara is just really, really good. We'll have to see. So that is from the Shadow Faction. If we go over to here, we're going to get Sigmund. So Sigmund is going to be able to rip away all of the armor and tons of block on the enemies. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Flame Strike? I mean, maybe Flame Strike becomes a possible... Fortress Steel Land Clear. If anybody has a Flame Strike on their account, like an early game account, I'd love to try it. Just more damage overall from her. Uh, Abyss is one of the first ones that's weird. Instead of going Cruise and Scary, Cruise, of course, is going to be one of them. Uh, and his stun now goes up to an 85% chance. He feeds more energy. Uh, they skipped Scary and instead went with Queen since she is the base version of a Transcendence Hero. Yeah, just don't build her. <laughs> just don't. Don't do that. Trust me. Just don't. Her stat lines are horrible. Now, this is the one I think a lot of people are hyped for, and we already have a couple accounts we're going to be testing her on. Valkyrie. So Valkyrie is always doing damage based on her HP to the enemies. So if she has V4, she has a Tree of Origin maxed out. That's a lot of HP. I'm wondering how her burn can actually perform in certain game modes. Now, typically she's always been like a PvP hero and it's never been great in PvE, but maybe. And then the other one here, uh, they're skipping Heart Watcher and they're going to Vesa again, just like Queen. Again, not a hero you really want to build at all. Just no. Uh, Dark's getting a bunch of them, though. Dark is getting, where is it? Uh, Dasmog, Sleepless, and, uh, all right, yeah, Dark Arthendal, Dasmog, and Sleepless. So Dasmog used to be one of the top PvE damage dealers up there with Scary. When you have multiple of them, they feed energy into each other. Nah, Sleepless, again, nah. Dark Earth and all could be interesting, depending on how much damage she can do. She also has that 30% chance to petrify. Not really high enough to be effective. Uh, but she is like a carry slash Jara combination, just really bad at each version. I don't know. Um, and then we move on over to the Light Faction. We just have two more to go, and it is Asmodel, which, you know, the crit mark. Could be good. I highly doubt it, though. And then Gurk gives more holy damage. Yay for Teddy's scary army who has tons of Gurks. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think. We're going to be testing some of these new imprinted heroes. We're going to check out all, at least most, of the uh, the new achievements that you guys can uh, 
anticipate we'll get the grand totals of what the achievements give and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time